Welcome to 4x8 Paper Stuff. My name is Beth and I have a journal obsession. This is my time and space to journal, whether it's to be with paper, paint, stickers, tape, or some other found object. I like creating worlds in my journaling and it's a form of learning for me also. I love learning by journaling. Currently, I'm creating and learning the world of shells. Let's see where that takes me. So, you know that thing called Pinterest? It can really take you down some rabbit holes. I am down a nature journal rabbit hole on Pinterest. And I'm trying to paint calligraphy paper that rips super easy. I'm trying to dry it without ripping it anymore. Um, painting a title. I think I'm going to try to practice drawing seashells every day and see how I do by the end of the month. And I came up with my own background paper for today's video, and most of today is, well, today's theme is, how do you tell how old a seashell is? Uh, kind of like counting ridges or rings in a tree, you count ridges on a shell, at least a scallop. I found information about a scallop shell. Um, I don't know if it holds true to all shells, but nature's got a way of doing things amazingly so I'm hoping that's how it goes anyhow my story is about a scout the counting the age of a shell is about a scallop today so these nature journals they are absolutely stunning not unlike stuff that Jose Naranya has done also not stuff art so I'm, I'm making elements for my nature journal page. Now, I had to do this um, with a voiceover. There was no choice because this took me all totaled in bits and pieces with gaps in between about two and a half, three hours. That's not including editing. Um, but let me tell you, my mind is in it, my heart is in it. So I feel like I already am in love with this journal. Uh, I went shopping today and found some, yesterday for you, I found some stamps. Tomorrow I will do a tiny haul of what I did because this video, I cannot edit any more into it. <laughs> so I'm making my own background paper. Now this is that um, calligraphy paper. It's very thin. It shreds in water. It's hard to... Um, do anything on without doing it in like a marker. I'm doing it in colored pencils, right or wrong, probably wrong at the end. So I'm going to put a piece of white paper underneath it in the journal when I'm through to kind of make things stand out a little bit more. But I'm writing um, uh, the Fabonici, I think that's how you say it, the Fabonici formula and I'm writing other mathematical formulas and Latin words for plants or shells, not plants, um, shells, um, different mathematical equations, um, all kinds of stuff to make a background. Uh, geometric squares, some of this will be covered up, but it's okay. I wanted it to be random and I wanted it to be like a background piece of scrapbook paper, <clears throat> albeit on a very thin piece of paper. Um, I love this. I have a love-hate relationship with this paper, and here's where I'm getting my information from my my uh, iPad because I don't know how to spell these Latin names <laughs> at all. Can't even pronounce them. Won't even try. Um, I'm using pinks and yellows and oranges, which is going to be the theme of this journal quite a bit. A little bit of blue also to represent ocean and some of the other colors in shells, which are blue. Um, I cut out some little tiny paper, um, uh, pictures of shells and I'm going to use them, printed them on my little printer that I brought back from home. Um, the little individual printer because I can't get this crazy printer down here to work. And I'm repeating a lot of that. By the way, it is 77 degrees here at noon. 
I had the air conditioner on in my car. I'm in shorts. It is fabulous, except that it is rapidly becoming overcast and it's supposed to rain in about an hour and a half. I'm even overla overlapping a little bit of that, um, how do you say it, Fabonici um, theory, the theory that's in nature, the mathematical theory that's in nature. It's in quilting a lot. I use it a lot. I made a paint swatch of the colors that I might use uh, a lot in this journal. I cut out those little shells. I made my background paper and I painted a couple different things waiting for all that to dry. Coming up with shell colors, uh, blush, peach, uh, grapefruit, um, tangerine, no, tangelo. I can't be a tangerine. Rosé is the color of all those different pinks and oranges and yellows mixed together. Um, and I have to say, this is fun. Nothing else is getting done today, uh, pretty much. Uh, I left for an hour to go to the scrapbook store. Um, but this is just going to be sort of my take on a nature journal. And this might be an element that I play with a lot this month. This kind of journal. And trying to provide shading for paper, for little pieces of paper and just make it a nature journal about shells. Uh, because what else do you do when you can't go anywhere and you have to journal every day because you're obsessed and uh, it's what I do. It's why I get out of bed in the morning. It's what makes me happy. Um, so I played with this for several uh, hours this morning, this afternoon. This is my shell practice page. It's going to be at the beginning of the section of this traveler's or this uh, composition notebook. And every day I'm going to try to practice drawing shell. And hopefully by the end of the month, they start looking like shells. Um, yeah. So much fun. So much fun. Call me weird. Whatever. I, I get along with my paper. Um, I love my paper. My friendship with my paper is the real deal. And making it into pretty things is what I like trying to do. I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, but I do like playing with elements and pretending like I know what I'm doing. Uh, anyhow, I don't know what else I do. I forgot already. It's only four. No, it's five hours since I started this. Now I had a break in between going to um, the store. So I'm waiting for some stuff to dry. So I'm kind of like stalling with pencils, <laughs> colored pencils. Um, I just added a little bit of color to that page because it needed something and I really didn't know what else to do. I'm kind of strapped here without a printer, but I'm making the best of it. Uh, so yeah, so here's the end result. How to find the approximate age of a sh sh shell. This particular method works for scallops. Tabulate the number of ridges or count a group, say 100. Measure that approximate width of the area that the ridges occupy. Measure the total width of the shell and then divide it by the ridges width. Multiply this number by 100 to estimate the total number of ridges. Divide total by 365. Scallops produce a ridge per day. Dividing will give you approximate age before it died or abandoned that shell. That's how to tell the age of a scallop.